Hey everybody, welcome back to Gideon Stuff. Today, we're talking cold steel. Uh, a little bit of a uh, different view, isn't it? Yeah, I decided that for the review of the cold steel SRK, which this is. <laughs> Put him right there like that. It'd be, it'd be fitting and appropriate to, to do it you know, out, out, outside. Right now I'm sitting on a log on a piece of property owned by my family. Let's go ahead and take a look. There's some of our cows down there. And yes, we are camping here for a little bit, keeping an eye on everything. And yes, that is an angry goat you hear. <laughs> I guess get a little look on this side. All right, there we go. Readjust, recenter, good. Whenever I tell people that I'm from New Mexico, they always picture Georgia O'Keeffe, you know, Abiquiu, desert, rocky reds and yellows, and which there is definitely parts of New Mexico like that, and it's gorgeous, but it's not all deserty. In fact, right now we're on elevation of about 10,500 feet, so yeah, pretty cool. I like it a whole lot. So there are going to be noises of cows and stuff in the background, but this is not about cows or my beautiful property. Well, not mine yet. Maybe one day it will be, hopefully. <laughs> this is about this knife here, the Cold Steel SRK Search and Rescue Knife is what I believe that stands for. Cameron, would you like to focus here? Yeah, there we go. As you can tell, um, yeah, this knife has... Uh, not had a sheltered life <laughs> so yeah um what kind of size comparisons do we want to do and how do we want to do them i know what we'll do so this is the cold steel srk i will put exact measurements up on the screen if i remember and here it is compared to the cold steel sr1 light so, there you go. And here it is compared to the Cold Steel 4 Max Scout. So, it's a... <laughs> it looks normal size compared to these uh, monstrous folders. Uh, let's compare it against some more average size Cold Steels. Here it is against the Code 4. So, there we go. And here it is against the 8015. All right, and uh, you know what? Just for the heck of it, because we have to. Yeah, you knew that sound. And because I've got it here. <laughs> There's the rat one. All right. Let's talk about the SRK. All right, so what are we looking, here, looking at here as far as materials go? So the blade is... Focus up. Yes, you can hear that goat in the back. SK5, which is a carbon steel that I actually like a fair bit. I'll talk about that later. The handle, as you can see here, it's like a an overmolded rubbery thing, got a lot of texture. I can't remember what they call this handle material. I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, I like it. It's very grippy. Uh, the handle, as you can see here, has a little bit of a swell in the middle, but getting ahead of ourselves. Um, the blade does have a powder coating of some kind. It's a clip point. Look how thick that is. <laughs> um, as far as the sheath goes, get out of my face, fly. Go away. We're looking at Cold Steel Securex. With a little nylon attachment. Attaches there. Um, the sheath itself does retain the knife. Not like the clicky feeling that you get from Kydex, but it does retain the knife. However, you also have the uh, belt loop snap for even more extra security. <laughs> you can probably hear my brothers in the background yelling and carrying on. All right. Uh, you do have multiple places that you can mount all kinds of different belt attachments. If you wish, uh, I've actually carried this on a backpack. 
Um, yeah. Really cool. I love the way this knife looks, too. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is gorgeous. Um, so you might be wondering, why didn't you compare it against any other fixed blades? Well, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't have very many other, like, high-end fixed blades. Most of my fixed blades are leftover junk from when I was a teenager. <laughs> and why is that? Well, for some reason, I just have a hard time swapping between fixed blades. When I find a fixed blade that works for me, I'll carry it all the time. And this knife works for me. I This knife will do everything that I want my fixed blade to do. I do EDC this knife. Of course, I have a job that allows me to do that. Um, I have a reason to carry this type of knife at my job. But yeah, I do EDC this. This is one of my EDC knives, and I love it. It does everything I want it to do, and even a little bit more. Um, you know, with pocket knives, let's see what I've got in my pocket right now. This is a VV Riffle. Gorgeous shot. With pocket knives, I can switch pocket knives every day, weeks on end. A different knife in the pocket every day. Sometimes I'll even switch in the middle of the day. Um, because, I don't know, I just, I like carrying a bunch of different pocket knives. Pocket knives are very varied. They're very varied. Wow, what great sentence building. Um, so yeah, I can carry a bunch of them, and, uh, yeah. But with my fixed blades, once I find something that works, I honestly do not feel a big need to switch it up. I will, I, I like fixed blades. I do, I like fixed blades a lot, and as you can tell, I'm someone that uses fixed blades. Um, I'll probably review more fixed blades on this channel, and one of these days I'll probably get a higher end fixed blade, like a Bark River or something. A falcon even and uh it might take the place of this guy but for now this is plenty of knife great price let's go ahead and get into what makes this thing so great so like i said i carry this guy at work uh all the time and so i'll go ahead and roll some footage from work okay so we have this tree down on the fence big old aspen but here's my plan I'm going to chop this part out, and then I think I can just swing it off the fence. Chop this part out, and it won't be against the T-post anymore, which is kind of loose, but let's see what happens. Well, let's see how this works. Not sure about the angle, but let's give it a look. That didn't take very long at all. There we go. 
so yeah, this guy does not get babied <laughs> at all. He really does not get babied. And um, I, I do stuff with him that I that you probably shouldn't do with a knife like this. Um, right now, let's go and do some... Uh, we'll go and do so, some more little tests, and we'll come back and talk about everything uh, as a whole. Batoning, because we have to. I put my gloves. I have no idea. Be okay. Be an ergonomics test. Which one of these do I want to baton? That one has a flat bottom. I'll do that one. I went a little bit wonky there. That was my fault. <laughs> It'll work. There. All right, let's finish up this review. <laughs> Things did not go as I planned. Um, I tried to do some more testing footage. I made a video of me doing some feather sticks that I deleted like an idiot. So that was fun. Uh, I was going to build a survival shelter with the uh, SRK, but that um, didn't work because I had to go, we were doing some work up here cutting some trees, which is why I have this lovely stump here now. So I just didn't get the chance before dark. And then this morning it rained, so I didn't really get to do much else but um let's go ahead and just talk about this knife so the one thing i want to talk about real quick is the carry how does he carry i think this knife carries perfectly fine um as far as carrying it like this goes it works really really well uh not too heavy doesn't really slap around that much if it does if you do have problems with it slapping against your leg you can use some paracord to make a thigh tie, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, one thing I will say, if you're going to attach another kind of attachment here, um, I think you can. The sheath holds it, you know, we don't have it, the, the sheath holds it really good, so if you want to carry it, scout carry, you know, with the tech lock or something on your back, you could definitely do that. Um, retention in the sheath. It's not clicky like Kydex, but yeah, again, it's not coming out. So, yeah. One thing I do wish on the sheath is that it had some jimping right here maybe to help push your thumb off, but it's a good sheath. I don't have very, very many problems with it. On to the knife itself. Let's go into what I like and what I don't like. So first of all, I think it looks good. I like clip points, so that's really cool. Uh, I think the blade itself is very functional. Look how thick that is. It's just so thick. Uh, you have a flat grind. Uh, these things come screaming sharp from the factory. And it's SK5 steel. I like that a lot. It's a good steel. It sharpens easy. Pretty tough. I, just, I like it. It's a good carbon steel. The coating on the blade has held up relatively well. Uh, especially you've seen the footage from work. Um, yeah, everything I've done to this knife, it's held up beautifully in my opinion. So, no complaints with the coating. Uh, I also want to talk a little bit about the way they did this clip point. So you can see here this wedge on the top, how they did that. It gives you a point that's definitely a lot thinner than the rest of the blade, but it's still plenty strong. So, I'm, I'm a really big fan of that. The knife itself isn't ridiculously thick behind the edge for a fixed blade, like I said, I wish I hadn't deleted my uh, feather sticking footage, and right now everything's pretty wet, so feather sticks don't really work that great. But uh, yeah, it works pretty good. Um, sharpening choil is decent. Might want to cut another one in. I probably will in the future, but this thing's had uh, two sharpenings, and uh, yeah, still looks pretty good. So yeah, good, good deal. Next thing, the handle has that swell there. This is a comfortable handle. 
It really is. Even without gloves, this handle is just really comfortable. The texturing locks you in really good. So big fan of that. You have a lanyard hole if you want to use a lanyard. I've considered putting a lanyard on here, so I'm glad they have it. As far as I know, this handle is just over molded and the blade is pretty much full tang. So a lot of strength there. A lot of strength there. So yeah, all in all, it's just a good working fixed blade. And I like it a whole lot. What could be better? Um, I kind of wish there was a little bit of jumping just right here. Um, but, you know, it's not a big deal. Again, on the sheath, I wish there was a little bit of jimping. And uh, that's basically it. Let's talk about the price. 45 bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can get these for 45 bucks. Um, yeah. If you're looking for a hard use fixed blade, if you're looking for a, a knife that you can take camping, hunting, hiking, take it to work, yeah, for 45 bucks, the performance you get out of this is just ridiculous. I have used this knife to do so much chopping, and it's not even a chopping blade. Yeah, it's pretty thick, but clip points are not choppers. But this knife does chop very well. I accidentally stopped the video when I meant to pause it. But anyways, I've been really impressed with this knife. I've taken it all kinds of places, just beat it up, used it, and loved it. This is probably my favorite fixed blade right now. As I've said, I plan on getting more fixed blades that are more expensive. But at the same time, I really don't feel like I need to because this knife does just about everything. And uh, yeah, really, really good. If you're looking for a fixed blade and you don't want to break the bank, this will be great for you. Uh, as far as bushcrafty stuff goes, I think this would be a good starter. I mean, I'm not sure if it'll be the best bushcrafter. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm exactly a bushcraft type of guy, but um, yeah, it's a good knife. I like it a whole lot. Definitely an easy recommend from me. And that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Uh, maybe I'll go and do some other crazy stuff with this knife to throw in here. Maybe I'll go do some more feather sticking later, but uh, and I'll throw that in. But Okay, I know what everyone's asking. I, I already know. Can it cut cardboard? Well, let's see. Is this going to be your new recycling knife? Yeah, I think I'll cut cardboard for you. Yeah, great knife. Definitely recommend it. I've been getting stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.